This summer's Paris Air Show saw Airbus and Boeing continue to carve up the single aisle market between them. The A320neo leading the 737 MAX by 850 orders by the end of August. Embraer took command of the regional jet sector with the launch of its E2, underlining a trend towards larger regional types. While a jury is still out on the new entrants, the C-Series and the MRJ. But the real attention this year is on the high-value Twin Isle battleground. Despite a shaky start to the year, Boeing pushed its 787-9 and Dash 10 into the spotlight. And it's not likely to stop there. If the first half of this year has been all about the A350, the second half will be all about three numbers. 777. The 777X is Boeing's crucial complement to its 787 and it'll want to highlight its pairing of two families and five new aircraft, emphasizing its theory that Airbus's single three-member family can't bridge the same operational range without sacrificing either comfort or performance. You'd be brave to bet against a launch order at the Dubai Air Show, given that huge 777 operator Emirates as well as Qatar Airways and Etihad, incidentally all A350 customers, have each expressed varying levels of interest in the new Boeing. As we move towards 2014, we'll have a clearer picture of whether the geared fan engine on the C-Series and eventually MRJ and A320neo is living up to its promise and whether the demand for larger regional aircraft will result in a 90-seat turboprop. But the major wide-body story isn't A380 against 747-8, but the ability of Airbus to keep its A350 on track for delivery, and whether its largest family member, the Dash 1000, as it starts to take shape, will be able to hold its ground against the latest iteration of Boeing's top-selling twin.